So guys, I went and bought myself an original gauntlet control panel. Um, now, before I show you, it's in the right state, okay? Here we go. Now, what was good about it, it had the four original Atari logo joysticks, which I will show you in another video, guys, okay? I, I've took them all off. It had five of the original buttons. I've took them off. I probably won't use them because I've got my own buttons now. Um, it had all the bolts. It had the Z bar, um, which you mount to the uh, side of the um, front of the cabinet. So if you want to do any work, it had that. It had practically everything except for the missing buttons. But it really it is soul destroying to do any work on this control panel. I I don't really want to take off. Um, it hurts me to do it, but. I don't really want to touch it, <laughs> but I got to, I got to guys, uh, uh, as you can see, um, I had a little go at it in this uh, corner, mind you, I only done half of that, it was already um, a little bit damaged up here, um, it's faded, I've tried to clean it, the colours don't want to come back, um, I tried everything to think, you know, I want to try and save it, but I just can't, guys. I just can't do it. And you can tell the, the difference in color variation here. Um, and it's also rusted as well. So I, I need to strip it all back, sand it all back, and get rid of the rust. And I'll show you now. It's, it's got the, the wooden panel as well. And you can see the state of it, guys. It's completely rusted. Which, to be fair, on wood we can just um, sand that back but if you flip the control panel over the other way I mean just look at the state of it now I don't know where this control panel came from I bought it from eBay I want to ask the questions but I thought oh, you know I don't really want to go down that road people don't like it do they um, so I don't know if it's left outside or in a cold damp um, shed or something I just don't know the joysticks went in um, the best condition either, they, they probably all need to be stripped and rebuilt. Um, two of them are completely knackered, two of them are not too bad, but you know what, I really wanted to get the rebuild kit as well, but now I just can't seem to find them on eBay. Um, it's the same seller who, who sold me the uh, the wire and harness and the same board, but um, doesn't um, just doesn't sell them anymore, so I may have to contact him and and say what's you know see what's going on like. But um, that 50, 60 quid a rebuild kit uh, works out quite expensive. But anyway, it's a dear hobby. <laughs> but yeah, so um, there's the uh, control panel. If you put it up against mine. You can tell the, the difference in, in colour, can you? I mean, it's just, I mean, obviously it's vibrant. And why am I doing it? Because i come to a conclusion, I want to put an original um, control panel on. And the problem with what I did on mine, even though it's pretty much spot on, I, I, I'm getting this effect here, where the holes... I drilled obviously rounded now on the original control panel they're square so the when you tighten the bolt up they don't turn so that's what's causing the problem over tightening onto the new um, control panel overlay and it just seems to destroy it for some reason I tried to do as you can see here as well I mean yeah it's just annoying really you know what I'm like perfectionist and all that but anyway guys, so on this video, we're going to get the heat gun and we're going to try and get this uh, control panel overlay off. Um, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be long winded, uh, trying to get the best sunlight here, that's better. Um, it's going to be long winded so um, we're going to start it and uh, hopefully I can get it off today and then um, the next stage is to clean it all off and sand it back. 
and then probably respray the front I may even have to respray the back look and the state of that with the rust because the rust is just going to come back so I need to take that back sand it all back so it's all nice and clean and I'll probably have to spray the back as well um, yeah so let's get set up and let's get ready to do it So guys, I've never done this before, so um, just watched a few uh, YouTube videos and uh, it can't be that difficult. Um, but what I will say is, use a heat gun if you're going to do it. Don't use your wife's hair dryer to just burn it out, okay? <laughs> so um, I've got a couple of scrapers here. Okay, so um, we're just uh, to flip between the two. Um, so, yeah, the heat gun bought this uh, years and years ago um, it does have a temperature gauge so um, I'm not too sure which uh, is the best set and all we want to try and achieve is to heat the glue back up um, not melt the actual control panel overlay we don't want to melt that but we want to heat the glue up so it comes away from the the metal control panel so that's uh, what we're going to try and achieve boys and girls, so let's switch them on, might be a bit noisy guys, I'll do it at uh, 300, low speed, and let's see how we get on. I'm going to start in this corner, that's cheating if I start in that corner. As you can see, it's going to be a very long winded process. Um, let me zoom in a minute. <laughs> uh, that's what I've done so far. This corner. You can get a scraper right behind it, look. If I get my hand out of the way. You can see that's coming up. Okay. So I'm going to clamp this down a minute guys, okay I'll put some clamps on, um, yeah don't try with a hair dryer, just take too long and you burn it out because you've got to be constantly on it and it just won't heat it up. I want to take the merlin off in one go, but it's not going to happen, is it?
like I said earlier, all you're doing is heating up the glue. Uh, so so brittle this. Also, guys, wear safety goggles. <laughs> I think once we get past this stage, we'll heat up. We'll heat up this, and we'll take off the um, the adhesive. Or is that paint? So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get on with this, and uh, hopefully. When we return, it should be all off. Hopefully. So guys, it's taken me about 20 minutes to get to this stage. I just want to stop um, and show you how bad this uh, overlay is. I mean, this is like welded on now. I mean, look, it's just, it's how crumbly and that is, and I don't think that's the heat gun doing that. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm wearing goggles because that is that's really sharp. That that flicked up in your eye. Yeah, you know it, all right. So yeah, um, not too bad at the moment, guys. Uh, Twenty minutes to get to this stage. Um, this is very tacky. So um, wherever I get goo gone on it, or trying to heat it up and scrape as much as I can off. Um, I will let you know. You can see the rust coming through, so it definitely needs uh, uh, a good clean. Right, guys, it's all off now. It took about 14 minutes to do that um, to this stage. So again, I need to get all this tackiness off now. Now I've got some goo gone. I'm going to heat up the um, heat gun again and seeing if I can um, get as much of this off as possible. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'll have to get Google on it. So, um, wish me luck then, guys. So, guys, um, I tried it with the heat gun, and um, it just wasn't happening. Um, so I used Google on. Um, I squirted it into a, a little area here. I left it on for about five minutes, and then... Um, started to scrape it and you can see all the uh the adhesive coming off now all the glue um so i'm going to just go and just do that on the whole control panel wipe it clean i mean it's coming up really good now i'm pleased with that um and then uh i'll probably get the old uh sander out ready for painting. Okay, I scraped all the goo off now. I'm just gonna give it a wipe with these um, big wipes, if you can see them. Um, and then probably just gonna squirt over some more goo gone and just to finalize the stickiness. And then I'll probably just let it dry and then take them out of the side and get all this black off back to the original um, metal galvanized plate whatever you want to call it um, it's, it's pretty good I mean it's not tacky at all now but I just want to give it a, a second going over less work for the angle grinder and um, the bristle a bit Do 
leave that on for uh, about two to three minutes, maybe five minutes, and then I'll give it another scrape with my scraper and then um, wipe it over with the big wipes and then we'll take them outside and we'll probably leave them outside for a couple of hours because it's sunny out, uh, let it dry and then we're going to get the angle grinder on it and uh, hopefully uh, that will uh, bring it back to its former glory. Okay guys, I've got my angle grinder out. I'm going to go outside and do my very best to get this control panel, well the metal plate, back to its former glory. So wish me luck. I'm not going to film it guys, I'm just going to do it and bring it back in the garage. So guys, I'm going to have to change tactics now. Um, this really didn't really do the job. Um, so I did a little bit of researching and I come up with one of these. Um, and this is supposed to get paint and rust off, uh, galvanized, steel, metal, everything you can think of and it will not damage the surface. Um, as in like it won't damage the, the metal or anything like that. So. I just did a little sample and you can see the shiny bit there and literally it was on there for a second and uh, it's done that so I'm going to take this outside now while the weather is dry it's been uh, very damp the last few days so I couldn't, couldn't do it so today is the only day I can do it so I've got this side to do and I've also got this side which is the rusted side so technically this pad on here and I'll leave a link in the description um, and also <laughs> let's, let's actually find out if it's going to work it's supposed to take the rust off and also bring the old galvanized um, back to life so it's going to look brand new basically that's the theory and also I want to try and get rid of all this uh, I don't know I think it's rust I have no idea so hopefully that will sort that problem out as well so fingers crossed guys let me get it, take it outside and uh, give it a go. guys there's the result and it's not too bad never gonna get it perfect but it was a lot better than what it was uh, so if I flip it at the back this is the best I can do now I'm gonna have to spray this because I think the rust is just gonna come back um, it's got that bad patch off, but it's still um, rust damage. Um, so I will need to probably spray the back. I know on the original one, uh, they never used to do it, but I think I'm going to have to do it. And what's interesting, I found the stamp. So my control panel is. 043347 <laughs> looks like a zero and then an upside down one and then a back C so if you flip it that way C10 and then it's where are we S England safe of England maybe who knows
there you go guys I'm ready to spray it well guys I'm gonna take this outside and give it a good sand as you can see a load of rust has gone into the wood now um, so yeah I want to clean this up the best I can I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna do my very best to get this looking good so guys I've just taken it outside and sanded it now it's a lot better now um, I can't get this off for love and money but I don't think it's uh, yeah, affected too much I'm just going to do some two part filler and um, just fill in all the damage and what I have noticed if I flip it around the other way um, I noticed some damage here and what it is when they put the tea moulding in they put some staples in and there's one here and I need to get if I can just zoom in a minute it's quite tricky to um, see if I can get a hold of it where is it uh, there so basically they've got these staples all the way around the control panel to keep the tea moulding in um, sorry keep the tea moulding on so I need to go and take them all out and I'm going to create a little bit of damage so I'm going to have to fill that in and, and re-spray it so I'm going to just let you know I've never come across that before so um, otherwise if I don't take them out guys I, I won't be able to get the tea moulding in uh, so yeah it's a pain in the backside but I've got to do it wish me luck just got one of the pins out now and they're fairly long, fairly long. So on with the uh, control panel. So finished all the sanding, filling, uh, it's turned out pretty well now. Um, I've done both sides as well. Um, took all the pins out, filled them in, as you do. Um, I also sanded this side down as well um, and I'm going to now paint two coats of multi-surface paint um, I'm doing a white first of all because I haven't got much black <laughs> so you really want to do one coat of black um, so I'm going to do that so at least it's primed um, and then um, yeah we're uh, good to go on that then guys I'm going to go ahead and do that now well guys I give it a good paint um, of white, just one coat of white on both sides um, just to uh, prime it really and uh, I just could give it a light sand now and, um, and then just give it a one coat of black and then job done on this part of the control panel so I'm going to go ahead and do that now so guys, it's uh, next day now, 24 hours later, um, and as you can see, we've got the base, okay. Uh, I don't know if I've actually, um, sorry, I just had to turn you around then. I don't know if you've actually seen what I did, um, but obviously I've had two coats of um, black uh, paint. Uh, I've applied two coats of paint on... Right guys, I think the next stage is to put this overlay on the control panel. It's been a few weeks now, um, to, just to let the paint harden really. Um, so basically, um, we have the metal plate here and then underneath the metal plate we have the, the um, wooden control panel section as well. Just for um, a more sturdy bench really. Um, now me and Andy was up in the garage earlier and we sort of, um, he helped me put this um, new artwork in place. Now um, it is quite fiddly to do because you have four joystick holes and eight buttons and um, you know that's 12 holes guys <laughs> to try and all line up and um, I think the best scenario we come up with was um, if we put light underneath the control panel, you'll be able to, be able to see the holes 
Um, it's better than trying to, you know, guess where everything is. So I'll just switch the light on. And as you can see, I just might take you um, off the uh, tripod a minute to get a closer look. So it is a nightmare to line up. <laughs> now, um, this is the best um, scenario I come up with. Um, it's sort of almost there. I mean, what's the worst case of scenario? It doesn't work. <laughs> I just have to get another one. But um, yeah, so we're sort of in there. What, what I'm scared of is actually committing to this because what I don't want is the buttons to um, basically sit over the uh, wording. So fingers crossed, it's in the right position and uh, we're going to make a start on it. So we're going to, I was, the, the original plan was was simply just take it all off, just wrap attack it all and then just place it on and then I can move it around. But I think because now it's in the, the almost the correct position, we're good to go. So um, the joysticks are sort of in in you know in line um, how I like it, how it should be in the centres. Um, so I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with, and I'm going to have to have a happy medium on this, is the buttons. Okay, there. Not too sure about this one. Uh, and certainly these two here, that one's not too bad. That one's slightly over. It should come over that way, but of course if you if you start moving things over, everything else would be uh, wrong. So, I mean, the wizard one's fine. Just slightly over on that one. Those two are okay. So, I don't know if it's the artwork itself, but um, who knows. I never had the, that problem with this one because um, I basically had to make my own holes. So, you know, it's the holes, <laughs> it is what it is, unfortunately. So let's get prepared then, guys, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, get this stuck on. Well, right, guys, obviously we're gonna be using the wet method on this. So I just clamped him down, make sure he's not gonna move, um, so. Let's go ahead and give this thing a little clean. <clears throat> now, I've got rapid tack, but you could use just soapy water in a bottle. Now, I haven't used this for a while. That's not on. Get there in a minute. I don't know why it's not spraying out. Why is it not spraying out? Come on, spray. That's better. Oh, let's get this a bit of a surface clean. Uh, what I do with the um, T-molding because I cannot get my hands on the T-molding I bought on eBay um, I just can't get there's just none available so I don't know what to do I'm going to take it off my old one or, or what I don't know Let's, let's concentrate on this. Square it out. Right, let's get the old rapid tack on there. All leave the artwork. should have done is peeled it first <laughs> and then sliced it off. Mm. 
<laughs> to be honest, I'm not that good at it. Right, got a brand new one of these. I'm going to probably leave this to dry for 24 hours before I even do any cuts because I don't want it to move. Just going to get all the liquid out. from Arcade Art Shop, if you're watching mate, we got no bleed there at the front here, absolutely none. Um, luckily the two moulding will overlap that. Um, what I will say mate, could you at least <laughs> have the profile cut? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> So yeah, that's a bit of a weird one really, I mean I couldn't push it up anymore um, to gain No, okay so let's clamp this one down then, stop it from moving, let's do the other side. probably didn't take that much time on it, they just whacked it in, uh, sorry, whacked it on. You know, is there a job full time? I'll just get these uh, 100 control panels done today. Alright, okay, so, just take, just bloody cut all that off a minute. Get the masking tape off. Place him. We don't need it on there, but I'll just do that. I do panic. <laughs> uh, I'm quite chuffed with the uh, control panel actually because it turned out fairly well considering how much corrosion and rust there was it turned out really well and I love the smell of rapid tack <laughs> uh, right, screw them on I'm not brave enough to do it dry. I really, I'm not brave enough. Just make sure you guys can see it. Yep, yeah, okay. There we go. It's a very heavy material. So you don't think you'll have creases in that. But if you make a mistake, the rapid attack will allow you to peel it off. And rapid attack all over the garage floor. Right. I think I'm gonna leave that for a couple of hours. And then I 
place it on the pool table. Just to get all this as much as I can off. Still screwing out. <laughs> I bet I even killed that then, didn't I? Maybe you guys could see that what I'm doing. Well, I'll leave it for a couple of hours. I'll move it out of position. Uh, sorry, onto the uh, pool table. And then let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow night when I come back from work, I will uh, do the holes. And let's see how good we are with the holes. Uh, just going to make sure that it's all, it's pretty, it's, all, it's in the ballpark. I mean, it's not 100%, but um, I don't think the original was. Let's just get this off. Where are they guys? Uh, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll let that dry like I said, but I'll tell you what, getting this T mold in. This is the problem now, so I might have to just whip him off this one, um, if I can. <laughs> so yeah, right, let's wait 24 hours. Okay guys, we're ready. Um, I just noticed um, that the buttons have a little groove overside. Now, um, I noticed on the buttons um, they've also got the um, like little notches um, I don't know if you can see that to be fair I know you can't but how that works it it locks in and stops the button from rotating and that has stop the artwork getting blisters um, so that's pretty good design actually I've never seen that before so that's what you get for having original stuff eh so um, yeah um, let's go ahead and Let's do, uh, we'll do Valkyrie first, um, because that was a, one on the bit of a wonk, to be honest, and there's nothing I can do, so I've just got the utility knife, <laughs> um, and um, I don't really know the best way, to be fair, do a cross, I suppose, yeah, I'll just do, just dig in like that. Okay, let there be light. Doubt to go all the way in, I didn't think. God. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to get uh, my mother in law's glasses on for this. What she gave me. <laughs> Make my eyesight a lot better. That's better. You can see what I'm doing now. I'm not going to bore you guys by doing all, all the holes, but I'll just do a couple. That's difficult with that little lip, I must admit. I've never come across that before. Light's blinding. Body language is not quite right. Yes, okay. Is there a 
bit easier way of doing this. Right, I want to try and get that a little bit better, don't I? Like that. Hmm. You guys can actually see what I'm doing because <laughs> my big head's probably in the way, to be fair. Right, that's the first cut. Let's just put the button in a minute. So far out we are. No confidence. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Okay. The actual holes are quite big. And you can actually see, if you look closely, you can actually see the light coming through on the Zoom in a minute. See? And it's worse on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Well, I suppose I can cut another one. <laughs> oh, I've got loads to do. So let me carry on cutting all these holes out and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be alright. Alright guys, I've done all the holes um, except for the bolts. Um, obviously, I've got a few of those to do. Um, so it hasn't actually... Um, the problem was I... I shouldn't have done the cutouts there, um, so I've, I've left them in now. So the only ones that are a little bit close to the right end is obviously the Warrior fire button, but it's not too bad. It could be worse. It could be like covering a whole lot. Um, and then I think Elf fire as well is a bit close. But look, guys, it's not bad. Eh? It's all lining up the best I could I could get it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and now do all these little holes um, and then trim the edges and then a job's a good one on that one. Well there you go guys. Managed to do all the holes. And the only reason why I'm actually doing this is because of these square holes. Now the problem with my control panel that I did was I couldn't do square holes so I ended up doing the round ones obviously and what was happening is because they're round when you tighten up the bolts they tend to rotate and actually destroy the artwork um, so yeah I wasn't happy with that to be honest and so these square square holes these squares um, are actually um, obviously punched through, machine punch, I don't know how they do it, but um, it, it stops the actual bolts from rotating because at the, underneath the actual head of the bolt is a square and that stops it from turning. So have a little look on your uh, joystick bolts and uh, you know what I'm on about. But anyway guys looking good so far I am still in a bit of a dilemma with the T moulding um, I don't know whether to take this one off or try and find another one now the seller um, from eBay um, he's not selling selling anymore so I'll try to get my hands on this T moulding very very difficult now there is uh, I know Arcade World do a similar one but it's not quite
quite the same and I, I have got it and I'm not putting that on I'm not putting that one on so I'm gonna have to just find out do a new research and see if I can find any more of this tea molding um, so anyway guys yeah so yeah but well nice straight cuts all the way around now I'm happy with that um, yeah so so guys before I end the video I just want to show you what I've done um, I decided to put the clamp brackets on and um, the earth strap as well um, just to take a, a little look how these bolts actually perform so if I flip the board around the other way um, there's no damage to the artwork which I am super happy about <laughs> so um, I'm probably gonna end the video in a minute so um, yeah so guys what more can I say about it <laughs> on this control panel well guys join us in the next video when we're gonna be putting some of these if not all of them into one of these this is the rebuild kit guys and this is an original Atari logo joysticks join me on the next episode and we're gonna rebuild this joystick take care bye bye